Genesis Evolution has a really powerful feature to allow you to clear out an area inside a closed profile and to do it uh, parametrically. And that's what we're going to look at in this video today. The first step is to create a subprogram that defines the area you want to clear out. In this example, we want to uh, we want this area or this area to to clear out to be 50 millimeters inside the edge of the panel all the way around. So we write a parametric program uh, to do that. And it's important that you make sure that the profile is closed so that the endpoint is coincides with the set mill point. And also note that you don't have to have a Z depth, a tool number, or even radius compensation because we're just defining geometry. However, when you do this, you do have to go back and click on the exclusion button here at the mill setup. This tells the program that this is not a tool path, but it's just geometry. You can click on the exclusion here or over in the code you can right click at the mill setup and click disable. Either one does the same thing. So once we've defined our subprogram then be sure to um, to save it inside the uh, subfolder uh, which is underneath the product folder and it'll be there when we go to start our next program which is what we'll do here. We'll create a main program and let's work with dimensions uh, different than that of the subprogram. and we'll click on face one and we'll come here to the special commands and go to the sub empty command and we'll pick the go here and we'll choose our sub program that we created earlier and it creates it and, and drops it in here then we'll go to the emptying area expand that and click on enable and islands is something you can you can do if you have multiple if you have multiple, um, say if you had a, another profile inside of the main profile that you wanted to come up to and leave it raised to pick up and go over the top of it, you can go two levels deep. So you can, if you had an island inside, um, one would be external, uh, a third um, would be alternating where you have uh, another island within the island. So in this case, we're going to use the simplest one and ignore any islands inside the profile and clean out everything. And it's recommended to clear toward the outside. In other words, start in the middle of the profile and work to the outside. Otherwise, if you work from the outside in, it's, it's very possible that you'd have a small amount of material left in the middle that would get broken off by the tool before it could be cut off and you may damage the, the new surface that you're creating. So working clearing toward the outside is recommended. Z depth will go six millimeters deep here. Z2 and a step is only necessary if you're gonna if you have to step the tool down if you're removing a lot of material. At only six millimeters material removal, we can do that in one pass. Uh, work speeds and speed in air are only if you want to override the tool defaults. Uh, we'll use the tool defaults here. Let's go and pick a tool. Let's use um, tool 1002 as a 16 millimeter diameter. We'll choose that. Uh, entry speed and rotation, we'll also use tool defaults for that. You could override them if you wanted to. But let's also, under coverage, let's enter in five, uh, which is in this case is 5% of the diameter. It's an overlap, basically. Uh, so that we, we know that the tool is overlapping the previous pass by at least 5% uh, of the diameter. So when we do this, the, the tool path gets created. But with a 16 millimeter tool, we would have a, a pretty good uh, radius left in each corner. And we want to go back and clear that out with a smaller tool. So we go to the residual areas emptying at the bottom, expand that, and click on Enable. And we'll choose a, a second tool, a different one. Let's, choose, let's use tool 1003, which I know has a three millimeter diameter. Entry speed and rotation, again, we'll, like before, we'll use the tool defaults. And let's give that a 5% overlap as well. So when we click on OK, then we get a tool path that's created in the corner that with the second tool that just goes and only works in the corner. It, it, it knows how much area was left or how much uh, material was left from the previous tool based on its diameter. It only goes and cleans out that area. So it happens, it works quickly and it goes to each of the different corners and cleans those out as well. And 
the most powerful thing here though is that because we've written this parametrically all we have to do is go give our part different dimensions and we now get the, the tool path to adjust itself parametrically uh, based on the uh, based on the part the, the panel dimensions so these are the steps to use the sub empty command parametrically